let's discuss a little bit about the strength of materials when it comes to wire ropes for rigging and hoisting and lifting stuff or used as anchor points in uh, fall arrest webbed slings as also can be used for rigging but can also be used for fall arrest and I have harness, harness assemblies for uh, both fall arrest and I have some climbing gear here there how strong are these? first one wire ropes we'll go from easy to not so easy here's a wire rope I just put a nylon tubing on it so because it's oily as it should be so it doesn't mess up my table here and how strong is this wire rope? it's super easy it's got a tag on it surprise surprise and the tag tells you so the tag tells you that this is a 3 8 diameter wire rope and in a vertical application it is 1.4 tons strong 1.4 tons every ton is 2000 pounds so what you can lift with this one is 1.4 times 2000 pounds there 1.4 times 2000 equals 2800 pounds in vertical application okay it's a little weaker on choker and yay strong in basket in a basket hitch configuration so that's the strength of this wire rope so far so good however what if you don't have a tag on it god forbid it's lost well the wire rope is a composite product I wish you could just measure it and this would be that simple but it ain't wire rope is a composite product it does matter how many pieces of wire make up the rope in what weave and what lay these are braided together what kind of uh, clips or, or how the loop is uh, woven in and fixed okay that also affects the strength of the finished wire rope with a loop on it already all right let's go to the screen here for wire rope stuff there are a couple of factors here wire rope in general and I'm uh, looking at this uh, what is it some uh, usbr.gov and it's a PDF okay we'll go to the source right away first off what is wire rope made of they can be made of plow steel okay it doesn't say there is plow steel but uh, there is plow steel there is improved plow steel and there is extra improved plow steel okay now what the heck is plow steel let's go back there let's go to a manufacturer see how it's see how plow steel and stuff is explained there are grades of wire rope plow steel plow steel is wire rope uh, unusually tough and strong this steel has a tensile strength of 1570 newtons for every square millimeter okay, a square millimeter is a teensy bit of a thing it's a square that's one millimeter by one millimeter okay there about that much air between my fingers is about one square millimeter how about that we'll go with that every square millimeter of cross section of wire can hold 1570 newtons that many newtons is approximate appro and this is my quick calculation okay is about 157 kilos and um, because I just divide quickly by 10 and if it's 157 kilos 157 kilos then it's approximately let me see I'm oh, sorry 157 times 0.454 is uh, no sorry 157 times 2.2 is about 345 pounds very roughly approximated okay but there is something you can work with 350 pounds for every square millimeter 
of my rope okay it's strong so that's plow steel you can see the number there for improved plow steel has a tensile strength of 1770 newtons for every square millimeter and extra improve, improved plow steel has 1960 newtons of tensile strength per square millimeter okay what kind of strength is tensile it's considered pulling okay so you're hanging something on the wire rope vertically all right so that's materials on the wire rope let's go back to this government document so that's materials for the wire rope terminology I'll explain that you see how the wire rope looks like when you unravel it it has strands and in the strands you can have different sizes of wires big ones and small ones big ones and small dots I know it's it's an eye strain there but uh, you can have different uh, sizes of wire that make up every strand and you're gonna have to count sometimes the inside of the wire rope has fiber core so it's not carrying any part of the load it's a fiber core wire rope FC sometimes you have a wire core inside okay either made up of smaller wires or made up of the same size of wire either which way you're gonna have to count the surface area of each wire sorry not each wire yeah, each wire if it's made of two different sizes you're gonna have to ca count or calculate the surface area you know surface area is radius square pi okay just for circles and then you have to count the number of strands say this one has one two three four five six strands of this size of wire and in each strand you have one two three four five six seven this is a six by seven six by seven wire rope so you have to have once you have the surface area of one wire you have to times it by six and by seven that's how wire rope is uh, classified here you can read about 6 by 7 6 by 19 6 by 37 you know there's all kinds of uh, designs that you can uh, that you can have on the wire rope and that's just the rope itself it's important how the rope is terminated if you use these u-bolts then they should be used in a very specific way it does matter how these clips are rotated it it, it affects the it, it does matter how big this loop is at the end that you form okay and uh, so that's just figuring out the, the the wire rope is a composite product okay so the spacing of these D rings or sorry U rings or what uh, U clips are is also important so so just the wire itself doesn't tell you everything you need to consider terminating the wire rope and then here you have uh, safety factors as well given for typical calculations uh, if you want to use it in material hoists you might want to use a safety factor of seven oversize and over design it by a factor of seven safety factors covered in another video okay there mobile cranes safety factor three and a half there you go for running ropes all right so all of this is important they're wet sockets okay all of this stuff is important how it's how it's spliced there you can just splice it handmade splice that's also a possible termination for wire ropes okay so and here is a sample calculation on this one how you figure it out that you have 6 by 19 wires and you have to consider which steel it's made of and then work with those numbers it's uh, quite a process bottom line wire ropes are composite products and if you lost your tag too bad it's gonna be a lot of effort and uh, and a lot of uh, guesswork often to figure out how strong your wire rope is so if it doesn't have a tag tragic story next one web web materials nylon web slings these are typically made of nylon and they look like so it's a woven material there and uh, it has a tag on it 
stitch to it and it tells you how strong it is. Okay, it's not nylon, this one is polyester and in vertical application it's 3200 pounds it is, is how strong it is. Okay, in choker it's weaker and in basket it's twice as strong as vertical because two sides are both holding. So that's what the tag tells you. Now, this tag, remember, only applies if the stitching is intact on this one. If it's not oily, not greasy, not torn, doesn't have embedded and encrusted concrete in it and other impurities that will abrade and cut the polyester or nylon fibers in it. Okay, so this tag is only applicable when this is new and is maintained meticulously in an impeccable working condition. If it isn't, too bad. Tragic story. Next one. This one is also a web sling and this one reads anchor sling and it doesn't have any kind of tag on it. It comes with a loop, uh, you push it through rebar and you pour concrete and you embedded it and this is what's sticking out on the underside of a concrete floor and it does have a tag but it warning safety anchor slings manufactured in Canada and it doesn't have any numbers on it not one number so you don't know how strong it is let me tell you when this one is installed properly this is a composite product if the stitching is intact and the nylon webbing is perfect and there are no cuts, tears or abrasions on it anywhere okay this is manufactured as a composite product to be your anchor point to provide for tying down for your lanyard and your harness okay. so this will be your 5000 pound anchor point okay it doesn't have a tag but it's manufactured to be an anchor point okay 5000 pounds that's a given Next one, come on around here, harnesses, lanyard, lanyard with special hooks on it. The hooks are not rated, it doesn't tell you how strong the hooks are, okay, it just comes as is. The nylon web sling also doesn't have any number on it, none, other than, other than your usual warning and its length and the date of manufacture that's useful. It doesn't tell you how strong it is. Hey, it's a lanyard designed and manufactured purposefully to be part of your fall arrest system. Its strength, 5,000 pounds. As long as the stitching is intact, there are no nicks, tears, cuts, abrasions, oils, spills, whatever, disintegration in solvents and anything, and no embedded sand or concrete in it. Next one, harnesses with D rings like so also unrated 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 this as is is a composite product again no cuts no solvents no no sharpies okay no sharpies because the sharpie uses a solvent based ink all right it's not rated you know what five thousand pounds it's a composite product next snap hooks. Snap hooks may or may not be coming with uh, this kind of lock on them. There, that's how it works. It opens this way and and then it doesn't open this way. These come with numbers stamped into them. Look at that one. It's got a manufacturer and it says 45 kilonewtons. 45 kilonewtons is what its strength is. Excellent. This one, used in uh, rock climbing, also has a number on it. Sorry, wait a sec, how do I turn this one? There. In this direction, it's 18 kilonewtons. In this direction, it's 7 kilonewtons. When it's open, it's also 7 kilonewtons. 18 kilonewtons this way, all right? This way. And 7 kilonewtons this way. Or this way, or this way, or I can't, okay, or this way, 
seven kilonewtons. All right. Uh, what the heck is 45 kilonewtons? Why don't we look at the computer here again? Take a look at the screen, and we've got a converter here. I typed in 5,000 kilonewtons there. Sorry, yeah, 5,000 kilonewtons, kilonewtons to pounds, and it's 22.2 kilonewtons. Sorry, I typed in 5,000 pounds, my bad, 5,000 pounds, and it's 22.2 kilonewtons. So this one, 18 kilonewtons, doesn't meet the uh, fall arrest requirements for uh, construction use. It's perfectly fine for rock climbing and whatnot. And so 5,000 pounds is 22.2 kilonewtons. Let's look around what else is on the table here. I've got this shorty sling and it says 22 kilonewtons. It's the same as 22.2. Okay. How about this one? It's got a nice tag on it too. It's got all kinds of warnings and after that there is numbers on it. 22 kilonewtons made in 2005. Again, stitching intact, nylon intact, everything is really good. How about this one? It's rated 23 kilonewtons this way. Pulling this way and 7 kilonewtons and 5 kilonewtons in the other two directions. So vertically 23 kilonewtons. This will work on a construction site but uh, it's uh, rock climbing gear and there's more of these uh, slings uh, all of them are 22 kilonewtons and I have one more specialty item this one this uh, ice swivel this one's rated for 36 kilonewtons there so this one also works rock climbing gear also works or could work in construction stuff but these are lightweight aluminum and uh, and this is steel and super heavy I wouldn't take aluminum stuff on a construction site because it abrades easily on uh, in contact with concrete you know if it, it, it moves against concrete it's gonna be wearing super fast and uh, the steel is more applicable it's damn heavy but it's good enough for construction or better suited for construction whereas this one uh, when you're going rock climbing uh, you want to pack light so it's made of aluminum so that's all I have to say about the strength of materials this one is not to be used in either rock climbing or in being in any part of any fall arrest or uh, rigging, lifting, hoisting, anything. This one is not rated. It looks like it, it closes with this spinning thingy. It's a quick link. It kind of looks similar to this one. Yes, it's an illusion. This is a joke. Don't ever use it. Same for this one. It has a similar appearance to this one. Look, spring loaded. Yes, unrated, not a manufacturer, no nothing on it. And look how it's made too. Can you see how it's stamped or bent? It's super thin there. This should not be part of any rigging or any kind of setup, including harnesses or anything. Maybe walking your dog, if that. This is a joke. This is garbage. So that's how you can uh, uh, work around with the strength of materials watch out for the labels these are all composite products